and there. Ah, oh, it's actually not bad. You can access. You see, pink is tony. Alright, so we're at um, Charmouth Beach. It's looking good. There's a Charmouth Coast Heritage Centre behind me. And I'm going to go pay for parking before um, my friend does. I'm supposed to be paying. You, you got the, you got there first. So yeah, uh, new camera out today. So we're going to go to Black Ven. So that way is over that way is Stone Barrow Cliffs, and uh, you can see there uh, there's people out on the beach already. Even though the tide's lapping at the uh, the beach already. But we're going to go this way towards uh, Lime Regis. Hello. Um, yeah, and see what there is. You can see the uh, Heritage Coast shop is already open. I'll have a look in there later. Let's have a little look and see what the uh, the sea looks like. Oh, there's a bit of beach there. A bit of beach. So, yeah. You can see Black Ven it's over there in the distance. Very misty this uh, this morning. But yeah, we'll see what we can we can get. If you do get a chance to come here, make sure you go and have a look upstairs at the uh, Charmouth Heritage Coast Centre because it's uh, free entry. There's some amazing stuff up there, uh, and obviously there's the fossil shop as well. So yeah. Let's see if we can find something today. Should be interesting. It's been rough seas because it's, it's pushed all the uh, shingles up onto this this uh, platform. I bet uh, I bet it's the uh, top of here when it's big, big tides, big seas. So is it that that's hitting Black Ben there, isn't it? Or is Black Ben round the corner? No, Black Ben's there, isn't it? Black Ben. Yeah, it's Black Ben. It's the active part of the of the landslide. Yeah. Now it's uh, it's rived up some rocks. <clears throat> Down on the beach. Right. A little way along the beach, crashing a few rocks. Normanites, yeah. But a nice septarian nodule full of brown crystals. So we're finding the right stuff, but yeah, lots of rocks to bash. Keep bashing some rocks and see what we can find. Just going along here, first little beef ammonite. Just in there. A little in there as well, actually, maybe not. Yeah, just preserved in the beef shales. So, yeah, both sides. Not going to take that one, but interesting to see. I don't uh, think it's actually a yellow stone, but no, it's not. A bit soft, is that one? Soft. Soft. Oh well, never mind. Yeah. Another beef rock ammonite there. Aha! Oh, aha, I've heard a ha ha ha. I think I broke some. No. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's no. Flat. Uh. It's flatish. No, but there is something here that I broke, I think. Okay. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, no, it's broken. Yeah, yeah. A rubbish one. Oh well, no never mind. It might be not even an ammonite, it might be just... A bit of calcite. Yeah. The of the lots, lots of calcite you bits where you think there could be something in there. The way you find out is with the hammer, give it a bash. Ooh, that's a big one. And then there's this uh, off of the stone. I'm sure you can see all the, the sides there, so I don't think they'll be open that. Look, also, it's, a tar it's a very heavily sectarian. Yeah, a big piece of wood in this block. So, quite often you do get ammonites washed up against these, but I can't see anything. Uh, we'll give it a quick bash and 
see. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing all. Worth just giving it a tap down the side of that central line. It's a very sticky place, is uh, Miss Charmus. Any ammonites in that at all? First, first woodstone, but just get a lucky split. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the tiniest, tiniest little ammonite. Don't think we'll bother too much about that one. Nothing good in it anyway, never mind. Could be. Could be. I'm going to move though because I'll probably get wet if I stay around here too long. Although, ooh, is that as if? It's a big Ziff. It's a big good ziff. I think um, I'd have to break it down anyway. Yeah, you have to break it down. That's definitely a ziff. Right. It's in a really awkward position as well where the sea is. I'm going to bring it up this way a little bit. Oh, that's heavy. See if we can uh, hammer it out. Well, not all of it, but make it smaller. Hopefully, that's the outer wheel. So, come around the corner. I've just hit this stone. You can see it's unfortunately right in the septarian bit, but there's a, there's a little ammonite there. So, we'll focus on it or not. Maybe not. There's absolutely loads of bits and pieces in this, uh, this bit. So there's bits of sea glass. There's loads and loads of bellumnite. Bellumnite. Bellum night. Bellum night. <laughs> Bellum night. Bellum night. Absolutely loads of bits of Bellum nights. You probably think this would be where there's a bit of pyrite in here. But yeah, you probably start finding a few pyrite ammonites around here somewhere. Don't be surprised. So I'll probably get your eye in for those though. Better uh, sifting really. But yeah, I might just give this another bash because there might be some more in this. You never know that, not in the sectarian part. Uh, yeah. So we're, uh, we're along the spittles now, so the lime reed is just over there and the cob. Tide's going out nicely and uh, yeah, just uh, giving this bit of a rock a split. You can see there the negative. A tiny little, uh, probably a prom. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad, it's a little ammonite, but yeah. Again, something different for me, so quite happy. Yeah, won't be long now, I'll be heading back. So yeah, not not too much. That zip is uh, broken down a little bit smaller, but I'm, I'm just taking it as is, and we'll see if, uh, see if it's preppable, uh, rather than trying to break it down, because they're quite spiny ammonites. Um, so I don't want to break any spines if they're there. So yeah, carry on, see if we can find a few more bits. Quite interesting. Ah, I, think I'm getting the, uh, I think I'm getting the hang of this now, hopefully. Uh, this one, looked, uh, looked good. Oh, there's a lovely little prom lot. Quite nice. Might be another one in there. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Only really small ammonites, but yeah, it's a bit different again. There's the negative. I think that's a burp tie nodule, I'm not sure. Could be it could be not. You can see there's you can see there's, there's signs of ammonites all over this nodule. So I'll give it another split, you never know. Might be some more nice ones in there.
everything. Takes a bit of practice to get uh, used to how the rock is. What different is this from uh, the York Coast? I like a bit of this one actually. It does actually, the blacksmith hammer is definitely better for splitting these things. I am learning. out of that one so one nice hammer night at least that's good put the promise in we'll bash and see yep yeah, definitely promise in anything in that one. Yeah, just looking through the rocks. See what we can find. Just never know. Probably walk past loads of stuff that I should have bashed, but yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm still learning. See, there's loads. Laminates in there, but it doesn't look like it's laminated, so I'm guessing that they're not particularly very good. But. Sides right out now. Oh, yeah, looking along here to see if we can find anything uh, on the uh, lower tide marks, but not too much at the moment. Mainly, just like I say, just a few problems. So, yeah, at least it's something. It's more than I normally get here, so that'd be bad. I think we're heading back and then we're going to go to another location. Kadunk. So, uh, right at the end of the beach, and this looks an interesting nodule. So I've tapped it open, and yeah, there's definitely some nice ones in there. I think the Microdrosserus, I've just tapped this side as well. There's a lovely one in there, that split. So I've got the other half there. So yeah, hopefully we get some good stuff out of that. So, a bit of a roundup of the finds. So, a few little problems. A yellow stone, there's one in there, and there's one on that side. In fact, that one is, is just there. Yeah, it's a little one in there, so that should be interesting. It's a slightly bigger one in this one. So, a couple of Yellowstone proms. A little, I think probably another little prom or something on a Birchimot nodule. As if. You can see the spines there, so that's the, uh, the macro conch, whereas the uh, Promicoceros is the micro conch. Sorry, that's the macro conch. It does go around, there's a little bit of damage there, but. Yeah, it's definitely in there, so that could be quite a nice piece. And then this, lovely, yeah, lovely birchy nodule, full of microdrosserus, so some of these are broken, there's some full ones in there. But the good thing is, they go the whole way around the block. So, I had a good look at this yesterday. Turn it up, up. You can see, coming out across here, uh, further round. 
so yeah the whole block is stuffed with them so yeah that, that could be could be something nice and you don't know if there's any bigger ones in there or whether it's just a layer of small ones but uh, yeah should be should be quite good that something interesting and I'll be uh, dropping the next instalment of the Dorset fossil hunting trip very soon just need to edit that down so don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to be notified when the content comes out so don't delay press it now press that subscribe button press it press it press it now press it press it you'll just forget later on press it now subscribe subscribe thank you